Exchange of gunfire continued in the capital of the Central African Republic on Friday. French troops kept their offensive strong against former suspected Seleka rebels. French Defense Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian is now on the ground to meet with troops and commanders. We thought the biggest risk would have been upcountry more than in Bangui, but in fact it was the opposite that happened. So we need to continue ensuring the security in Bangui, and step by step, as the African forces reinforce and calm returns in Bangui, we will be able to deploy outside of Bangui to Bosongoa, because from Bosongoa we can rapidly go to Baoka, and we will use this plan to bring security to the whole of the country. The violence that has left the country virgin on anarchy showed few signs of abating on Friday in the Miskeen neighborhood of Bangui, where a band of about a dozen Muslim men with machetes faced off against an equally large group of Christian youth. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has issued a warning to those responsible for the fighting. I have a clear message to all who commit atrocities and crimes against humanity. The world is watching. You will be held to account. People on both sides have carried out retaliatory violence across the Central African Republic, an overwhelmingly Christian country that until March had seen little sectarian strife. Prime Minister Nicholas Tsiangaye issued a new warning over the rise in violence calling for a rapid disarming of all sides. France is deploying 1,600 soldiers to bolster regional African peacekeepers, trying to stabilize the country after more than 500 people died last week in the fighting. Maria Galang, CCTV.